Recruiters are spending 10 plus hours just on sourcing and qualifying candidate shortlists for each role. Most people think they need to hire more people and need a bigger team to scale their recruitment agency. But we build a system that turns any job description into a shortlist of qualified candidates combined with personalized outreach on Autopilot. I'm Fabian from Automine Solutions and we've helped 30 plus recruitment agencies scale without hiring more people by using AI and automations to support their team. In this video, I will show you the exact workflow that saves our clients 10 to 15 hours a week on building these shortlists and generating 100 plus positive replies from candidates each month. You will see how to go from job description to qualified shortlist of candidates up to personalized outreach message all within NNN. So let's look at the manual way how the recruiting agency usually goes about this. The team will go onto a job description and check it carefully to get the important information about keywords, job titles or anything else that's relevant. Then they will go ahead and go into LinkedIn Sales Navigator or any other tool they use as a database and scroll scrape it to find relevant candidates and qualify them one by one. So they will open each profile on a new tab, check their skills, check their experience, check their education, and then decide is this a relevant candidate to shortlist, yes or no, and then go ahead and craft a manual message one by one. Or even worse, they will send a generic template to everyone. It works, but it's slow and unscalable. So let me show you a better way. All right, so how this could look like in add N, if you have this process automated by one of our workflows, you will have like a form to start the workflow and this will capture the most important information. So in this case, the job title, the job description and the location. Of course, this is just like a test version or test form in add N. This would be branded and you can even host your own web app for your team to use. So I just did a test for this. So as like a free uh, candidate search for this company. So let's say for Sol de Janeiro, you're searching a VP of e-commerce um, and you have like this job description. So you can just go ahead, copy this in, and then you will have, have the workflow data like here. And I will just walk you through the exact step one by one, what this workflow does, what's the output, and what's the final outcome of candidates. So you see right here, I just submitted the job title, vice president of e-commerce, I copied in the job description, so we have the job requirements listed. And for location and for this demo case, I just put in United States because assuming a vice president of e-commerce would be willing to travel or like change location. So the first step is to use uh, to use Airtable as like a tracking and database to store the data to just add the job to the Airtable. So the Airtable system will consist of two tables. We'll have the job searches and we'll have the candidates. So in this example, this uh, row number 11 is our example we are looking at right now, the vice president of e-commerce from the United States. And you can also see as a preview already, it has a few candidates attached, which we'll go on later. So the first step is the job title mutation, because as I showed you in the manual process, oftentimes recruiters, of course, will use similar synonyms or similar job titles to find a bigger list of candidates, because not everyone that would fit this role would also be named VP of e-commerce. So the first step is basically an AI prompt that takes the information, so the job title and the job description, and comes up in this case with five job titles that could fit this job description as like for a potential candidate. So you see, for, for example, here, the vice president of e-commerce, VP of e-commerce, head of e-commerce, e-commerce director, or senior director of digital commerce. So we have a few variations that will help us in increasing the coverage. Next step is just like a technical part in 8N where we'll split it up. So each job title can get like sent uh, on its own against the Apollo API. So in case you're not aware what Apollo does, Apollo is basically a database where you can build a people search or like a company search to find the right companies and people that fit your criteria. So you could filter on job titles, specific keywords, locations, or experience. And this is just one example database we're using in this case. We could use your CRM, which of course has like a higher standing because you might already be in contact with these candidates or you have spoken to them and you might have more information as for example, their CV. So we can even do like a more in-depth analysis and scoring against the job description. But to like do active sourcing and find new candidates you don't have a new CRM, you could use Apollo, you could use LinkedIn, you could use Zoom Info, you can use like different APIs, different database providers, depending on what subscription you have, you could integrate this here. So we are using, as I said, for example, Apollo here as like a people search API, where we're then using the variables as a search filters or search criteria for the initial search. What we can, of course, do here when we build it for all, out for a client, we can, of course, use your CRM to look up for any existing candidates you have in your talent pool that are already in your database, right? So we can filter your CRM, check the CVs you have uploaded there, and also qualify them against the um, job description. But in this example, as we don't have like a, a CRM to use here, we'll only rely on the Apollo API, 
Of course, you can include other APIs if you have a subscription and then we'll have a first result that looks like this. So you see right here, we have 50 candidates that would come up on the search. This uh, volume can of course increase by searching more pages. But as I said, this is an example. Um, we will then remove the duplicates because of course, one candidate can come up for a VP of e-commerce, but maybe they might come up for a different job title as well. So to not like overspend or like enrich them twice, we will remove duplicates right here and we will end up with for example, out of these 50 items, we'll end up with 43 single persons in, the, in this case. Then the next step would be that we do an initial scoring and pre-qualification. So even though Apollo gives us some information about the profile, we don't get their full experience, their full work experience, their education, but we can still do a pre-qualification to not later on enrich every candidate. So you see, for example, we're using this scoring and pre-qualification agent to look at the LinkedIn profile, which is fully enriched in here. It's not nicely formatted, but the AI understands it better that way. But for us as a human, it's a bit, looks like a big chunk of text. We will then analyze it. We get basically take it two outputs. So an initial score on the candidate between zero and five, how good it fits the job description, the job we're looking for, um, and also like a reasoning. And in the next part, we have another large language model, and this case, again, OpenAI GPT, that we use to structure the output. So you see, for example, this candidate, Chen Batman, with this LinkedIn well, we used it to score it against the vice president of e-commerce. And we have like a short reasoning on the experience fit, the industry fit. So has he worked in similar in industries? Same goes for seniority and like a general fit. So general fit score from zero to five is like four. So this guy, for example, would move on further to the next stage because right here we are filtering out anybody that's below a four. So only people that do like a get a four or five in a pre-screening or like a pre-qualification move on to the next step. So you see, for example, 11 candidates fell out because they got like a, a three on on the fit when we then move to the next step we basically use another api to this time enrich the full linkedin profile so in this case we get really everything you see on linkedin so we get even their profile pictures even though they don't matter much right here <laughs> we'll get uh, their location we'll get their education so for example this candidate has a master of business administration in michigan um, we'll also get their full work history anything else they will have on our linkedin we will have here as a data point and then basically last two steps in this workflow are we are using another AI agent or like another AI prompt to create a candidate assessment. And this time it's way more detailed because we have like bigger data point or like a bigger database to work on because we have the full enriched LinkedIn profile. So we get again, like many different scores and summaries. So like a summary fit score, we get an executive summary, you could like forward and we get then like title alignment, skill alignment, experience alignment. So like many different points we look at. We even look at with the AI at potential red flags. So this could be like someone that's not has a very long tenure at the role. So they're, for example, switching roles uh, often and are like a job hopper. So for you as a recruiter, that's like a red flag because you don't want to place them somewhere if they leave like one year after. And there are like more things to check as a potential red flag. But we also, of course, check for positive signals. And in the final recommendation, we give like a strong yes, a soft yes, strong no or soft no. So we always have like in this demo workflow for cases or outputs. And then, as I said, in a manual way, the recruiter or your team would go ahead and write personal messages one by one manual, which is very time intensive, or they would even worse send the same generic message to everybody. So what we can do here, as we have so much data about the person, about the candidate, we can generate them a tailored message based on their experience, maybe based on recent achievements um, and make it sound very human. So this we do right here with Claude. So Anthropic Claude is usually, we like to use it for copywriting as it's like feels more human. It has like a yeah like better output for this case and we then enrich and put all this data back to Airtable as in this case our database our interface to use of course as I said this can go directly into your CRM this can have like a web app with a human in a loop step to then do like a final review on the final candidates and I'll just show you how this looks so as you saw we did the vice president of e-commerce and I already filtered for the results right here so you see these are all candidates that automatically were sourced with zero manual or human interference or any human work that needs to be done. So we get like, for example, Chen, Michelle, that are VP of e-commerce already. We get their location, we get their full LinkedIn profile. Of course, they're also linked to the job search entity and Airtable, and also like the job title and job description that was used to find them or like uh, build them on a short list. Then of course we get a uh, job location, and we get like summary fit score, um, we get an executive summary and like all these data points that I just showed you in Nflow also have like a, their own column right here. As I said, skill alignment, industry alignment, seniority, company type, 
education, also you can see here, potential red flags. Some of them have something, for example, in this case, we were looking for like this beauty or wellness brand. So the AI automatically got this from the job description and said, here is a potential red flag that this person doesn't have any direct industry experience in beauty, wellness or lifestyle industry. So all of this on, and as I said, like for example, job hopping will be shown right here. We've seen like all these positive signals. So we see, for example, this person, 15 plus years in e-commerce and digital marketing leadership, progression from senior manager to VP and SVP roles, experience leading both full-time and fractional executive roles, and was like awarded like a web design award 2015. So we can even get like really in-depth details of their full LinkedIn profile that your team might miss if they do it manually. And then of course, like the final recommendation, we will have like a strong yes or a soft yes for example for these candidates and you will even like get some next step suggestions and as i promised you will also generate like a fitting email body and a linkedin message depending on what kind of channels you want to use for the outreach you can even combine them in like a multi-channel outreach which is of course the best way to get as many touch points as possible to candidates so for example an email could look like this please keep in mind this can be adjusted to your tone of voice to the use case of candidates etc. So for example, Chen, your passive growth marketing results at Avid and Udemy, 30% year over year, average RRR growth, align perfectly with what Sol de Janeiro needs right now. We are at a time 100 most influential company of 2024, etc, 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 right? So we see like based on this unique personal profile will generate a fitting message without your team having to spend time researching it, crafting a message and sending it. In this case, no follow up will be forgotten because all of the sequence will be automated, but it will still feel manual and just like the right message to send to this candidate. So if you implement workflows like this one, your team will save up to 10 hours per recruiter per week. You will get more replies from candidates and clients because you're reaching out at the right time to the right person with the right message. And your team is way happier because they actually can spend time building relationships and don't have to do that much admin work. So let's see what one of our clients has to say about their experience. I think it was about 80 to 100 meetings uh, booked. So yeah, it uh, would be great if you can just give a quick uh, introduction to yourself. Yeah, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Sprung. Um, and can you also quickly explain how the process looks like now? Uh, a lot of more leads than before. We had so so many leads that uh, we needed like a new uh, cold caller to to get all the good leads. <laughs> it's for me, it's a no brainer because uh, you can do everything else and not looking for leads. If you have a system like you have built, you did like the whole work and uh, I was just checking if, if everything comes right. <laughs> so you just saw how to save 15 plus hours per week and generate a pipeline of qualified candidates on autopilot. Some of you will go ahead and build this workflow and see great results and that's good. But some of you won't have the time to implement systems like these, bug fix them and tailor them to your need and your company. That's exactly what we do at Automines. We build these AI powered recruiting systems for agencies that want to scale without hiring a bunch of new people. You focus on closing deals and building relationships and we handle automation that takes care of the manual work. If you want something like this and build up for your team, check out the description and book your free strategy call. Thanks for watching.